This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm the Don Davis. After experiencing an oil spill in January 2013 that reportedly impacted nearby residents, the Ruber service station on Robinson and Old Trail Road is now opened. In a press release issued on Monday, Ruber's officials advised the public that they are now using state-of-the-art remediation technology and globally recognized remediation firms, and all the fueling equipment at the site has been upgraded with the best technology available globally to protect the environment. In other business news, Bahamian College students now have the opportunity to soar this summer as the eight-week Summer Dream Team Associate programs at Bahama are officially began on Tuesday. The internship programs are geared towards students at various stages in their academic fields. The Junior Jet Setter program for high school students started on July 7th, while the Jet Setter program for recent college graduates will start on July 21st. These internships provide the opportunity for students to explore careers in hospitality while experiencing the Bahama environment. And in international business news, technology giant Apple has agreed to pay as much as $400 million to settle a lawsuit into accusations that it colluded with publishers to fix the price of e-books. The settlement depends on Apple losing an appeal into a 2013 ruling that it violated anti antitrust laws rather overpricing. That ruling found Apple orchestrated a conspiracy with five publishers to raise e-book prices. Apple has continued to deny that it engaged in any wrongdoing. If approved by a judge, the $400 million will go to consumers. Apple will pay an additional $20 million in legal fees. And that's your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm LaDawn Davis.